Now it's time for the final part of our Save the Humans game. All that's left to do is to put in the Game Over Play Again screen. So let's add a new scene to our JS folder. New file, scene over.js. And you can copy the blank scene here at phasergames.com under the starter snippets. These are three starter snippets. And change scene main to scene over. Class scene over extends phaser scene constructor and then pass in the key scene over. And then we need to register that in main here. We add the new scene, scene main and scene over. And we also have to include it in the index.html file. I'll just make a copy of scene main here. And some people have been asking that I do this in a node package manager way, in a more modern way. And I've got a video of that coming up. But for right now, I'm going to do it in the classic way, adding it to the index.html. And I don't find anything wrong with either method. And then in scene main, we've got a couple of places here where we need to call scene over. In the hit char where we say hit human, we'll put this scene start scene over. And let's copy that line because we also need to put it down here if an alien reaches our city right where we made that note, do game over. And in scene over, I'm just going to console log out game over so we know we're actually hitting this scene. So I'll go ahead and shoot a human. And there, we've got game over. And let's see if we get a game over when the alien hits the bottom of the screen. I'll go ahead and speed the video up so you won't have to wait. There, game over. Now let's dress up the game over screen a bit. I'm going to just copy a couple of lines here from our scene main, from background this add image all the way to background display width equals game config width, and put that in the create of scene over. And also let's go down and find the city. This city equals this add image and align scale to game with this city. So just copy those two lines and put them at the bottom of the create function in scene over. Let's also put an alien's head right in the middle of the screen. This face equals this add image, zero, zero, alien. We're not going to leave it at zero, zero. We're going to put it right in the middle of the screen by saying align center this face. All right, let's have a look now at our game over screen. Great. Now let's put a play again and the game over text up here. We'll go ahead and put on an align grid. And we can just copy the align grid from scene main. I'll copy that show numbers as well. Paste that down at the bottom. And then we're going to need a game over text. Bar game over text equals this add text, zero, zero, game over. And for just a bit of styling, in an object in brackets, color, six Fs, font size, game config width, divided by, let's say, 20. And the hash should be a string there. Now let's have a look at that so we can line up that game over text. And let's put the game over text at number 27. Give me an extra F in there. 
this a grid place at index 27 game over text and we're going to need to put the origin of that in the middle game over text set origin 0 0.5 0 0.5 Great, let's make it a little bigger, divided by 10. Now let's put in some text to use as a play again button. Bar play again text equals this add text, 0, 0, play again. And we'll use the same styling here, just copy that entire object. Play again text, set origin 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And we can place it right there below the alien at number 82. And I'm going to format the code so we can see it a little better. And play again text, set interactive. Now let's add a listener to that. Play again text on pointer down. This play again. This for the scope. Make the function. Play again. And then this scene start scene main. Let's check it out. Great. Well, there's a lot more things you can do with this. You can put on a title screen and an instruction screen, but I'm going to leave it to you. Do whatever you like with the code and change the game to however you like. Put in a lot of extra features. Feel free to use it in any way you like. But please leave a link to any of the work that you do with this game, any changes that you made, so that we can share it with others. Leave a link below in the comments. I would appreciate that very much. Thank you for watching this tutorial on building the Save the Humans game. I hope you found it useful and enjoyable. If you'd like to learn more about Phaser, including my ebooks, Skillshare, and Udemy courses, and tons of Phaser freebies, go to phasergames.com or click the link below in the description, and don't forget to subscribe.